Hi guys, it's Lee Lums of and Health and Beauty Hacks, and today we're going to discuss a myriad of natural preservatives with ferments. With fermentation! Let's discuss. Alrighty guys, so as a preservative, what you do want to preserve your natural DIY stuff at home because you do you know sticking your fingers in things. I mean you can have pumps and stuff, uh, airless pumps, but still you just want to be safe. Um, even if you're putting it in your fridge all the time, you should preserve so you don't put some weird molds and you know, bad bacteria on your face. Speaking of bacteria, let's discuss fermentation. Thanks, Julie. Julie told me about aspen bark um, extract, photoside from uh, lotion crafters. Formula Sample Shop has uh, both Formula Sample Shop and Lotion Crafters have a lot of these preservatives we're going to discuss. And Formula Sample Shop, they have that 10% off discount, which you can link in below the description. I'll link to that. Um, it's just Lita 10. You can put that in the description. I mean, in the um, discount code if you go to Lotion Crafters. And they're if you go to Formula Sample Shop, and they're really comparable in price, except you get 10% off of Formula Sample Shop. So how did these come about besides, you know, ferments, you know, uh, lactobacillus preserving your vegetables, right? For many, many, many thousands of years, basically throughout humanity, you know, making kimchi and sauerkraut. That's a form of, of the ferments, the fermentation that's happening in there, the lactobacilla keeps the mold and the yeast and the bad critters out. What's interesting about using it in cosmetics, this is apparently the story. Remember bird flu happening in like, what is it, the early 2000s, right? So what happened was, in apparently in Korea, land of kimchi, they noticed that their, their birds, their chickens, that they were feeding kimchi along with their bird feed were recovering from avian flu, avian flu, bird flu. Anyways, that led to this company, place the company where, that's making these, what is it called again? Hold up, hold up. Active Micro Technologies. Active Micro Technologies started creating and testing these fermentations, deriving further processing. It's not like you just put kimchi in your, <laughs> in your emulsions and it'll be okay. They're actually processing it further. They're basically isolating the peptides like these lactobacillus and the leucona, leucona stock. That's the bacteria that is in the lewisidol liquid. Makes sense, lewisidol. Um, that they then isolate the peptide and the antibacterial properties from the leuconot, leucona stock. Look in the description for the, the, the word. I'm not exactly how, sure how to pronounce it. They put that in mashed up root radish and they're creating the, the main one, which is maybe recently, maybe it's been a few years, that Whole Foods has actually approved both of these. This is root radish ferment, basically, and this one's coconut ferment. They're both water soluble. So these are in your, your water formulas that you want to use these. Because you definitely, if you're making a lotion or something, it's the, the mixture of the water and the fats, right? The oils that makes a perfect Petri dish, basically. So you definitely want to, you want to combine these two, ideally, that have a broad spectrum. So the lucidol on itself, lucidol liquid on itself, by itself is actually a very good preservative that's recognized. But then you can add amnicide that gives it additional mold and yeast powers to fend off. So they're really good together, and actually they're recommended to be used together. A formula sample shop actually has a Lewisidol SF Complete. So Lewisidol SF Complete is just the combination of the two. So you could just buy this from formula sample shop, link below, use the Lita 10, and then you get that discount. Or if you're using the Aspen Bark, Aspen Bark, um, it has salicylates, that's what's helping it preserve. You can add the amnicide coconut to that and that creates another broad spectrum preservative for your formulations, okay? Vengicide is another one. This is from Ingredients to Die, to die For, down below, a link. This one's great for emulsions as well. This is that one that I've used in some videos before. It looks like coconut. It certainly doesn't taste like coconut or smell like coconut. 
so vegetarian is oil soluble. Um, it all it, it's a broad spectrum preservative for your balms or your or your lotions, emulsions, and potions that are oily. Because you're sticking your finger in there and your salves and whatnot, whatnot and that's you just want to have, have added protection. But also vegicide. In addition, it has emulsifying properties, right? And it will help. I mean, emollient properties. So it's it's like it feels like a little coconut. So it has benefits. All of these have benefits as well to your potions. Hmm? It serves as a co-emulsifier also for your water and oil mixing lotions, right? So that'll it'll help them stay together and not separate in addition to your other emulsifiers. Huh? And I guess it, it has a refattening activity, whatever that means. I guess it also helps keep, it keeps your emulsions together. And vegicide, I haven't seen it other than ingredients to die for, but it's it's like one ounce for five dollars. This one's the four ounce, six ounces, which is fifteen, and it's lasting me a long time because you're only using it one to five percent. No, they say one to one point five percent. I often use more. It's for your without water anhydrous, in other words, formulations. Okay, so it's little water, not without water or very little water. You know, emulsions. Okay, yeah. So the aspen bark extract, I poured a bunch in here. It's just kind of a, a white powder. It's kind of like. I don't know how it tastes, I'm not going to taste it, but that's water soluble. They're all basically good between 3 and 9 pH. And the thing is that like the Lewisidol and the Amicide, which are also the co-ingredients for the Lewisidol FS Complete, Lewisidol Complete, they help the stability of your formulation, like through the process of formulating it. It, it, it's very stable through a wide pH. It makes your formula more stable in addition to its preservative properties. So everyone is scared of parabens and these other preservatives, you know, might have dangerous properties. Maybe not though, you know, like the parabens, that whole study with breast cancer that was debunked. So it's not necessarily a problem, but everyone's scared anyways. But these have additional properties besides just preserving. So that's that's a win-win. So unlike other more complex proteins and enzymes, these are smaller antimicrobial peptides, so they are less susceptible. They're not very susceptible to heat and pH ranges. These together, they're good. A Lewisidol liquid would, apparently is good between 0.5 and 2%. And you know, I often put 2% of each of these because of their additional properties. All of these also have additional moisturizing properties, which is dope. Oh, there's another one, elderberry, phytoside, elderberry. So this one comes, this is oil soluble and is recommended at one to 5%. So this is added antioxidant properties. I mean, probably all of these have added antioxidants, but I know this one does. So I add this to my facial oils, which, you know, with oils, it's not as, it doesn't seem as important to have antimicrobials because there's not the water in there, but just in case I have been adding this into it, this is one ounce. It's just a clear. It looks if, if it's kind of oily. I don't. I don't really know how they process that, but isn't that neat, guys? Yeah. What other ones do they have? So definitely check the link below. Okay. All the uh, links to all of these. So you don't have to take copious notes. There's this one um, called Sinner on Formula Sample Shop called Sinnerside Asian Fusion, which I haven't tried, but that one is a fermentation of Active Microbial Technologies, which is the company that. I guess it's made all this. It's using a pioneering method of infused garlic, ginger, and wasabi extract with hydrating glycol. Yes, yeah, so it's got all the benefits of these other ingredients. Formula Sample Shop even has a preservative for powders, which was like, what? They have one that's like Lewisidol Liquid Complete for like face powder or your, you know, your mineral makeup concoctions you make. Lucidol liquid PT for powder or spray treatments. And that one's starting at five dollars. So yeah, so I guess it's dried liquid, Lucidol liquid. I'm not sure, but that sounds interesting as well. So in all of these, it's not like they smell, they don't smell funny like um, your fermented vegetables. They don't smell like farts. <laughs> Lucidol liquid is like a little soapy kind of. Um, see there's a little bubble <laughs> it feels soapy for some reason just kind of what it's it's it doesn't smell like anything so 
It's not going to mess with your formulas, and the, the smell of your f fabulous formulas. And it doesn't really change, it helps stabilize your product so it doesn't really change the color over time as well. Isn't that neat, guys? So that's the deal. You should check out the, for the ferments. Yo. Forma Sample Shop has another one, Lewisto Liquid Advanced Aloe that has aloe in it. How about that? It's a unique ingredient, delivers the skin conditioning benefits of soothing, moisturizing, while functioning as a natural preservative in many cosmetics. So that one's a little bit more expensive. Two ounces is about $11 on that one. Anyways, I'm gonna link to these. These are the ones that I've tried and definitely into the Lewis at All Liquid Complete, which is both of these. That's my favorite to go to. And then for oily oils, Phytoside Elderberry. And for emulsions, Vegicide. That's what I've been doing, guys. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you're having some successes. I mean, these are becoming more mainstream. I think they're more and more accepted, not only because people are afraid of parabens, but also because they dope and they work and they have additional benefits to your skin besides just preserving your fabulous formulas. Isn't that neat? So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know your successes with ferments and let's have a fun time. Hmm? These are relatively small antimicrobial prop peptides. <sighs> oh, and then I guess so multiple things happened that Lewis said, what is it called? There, there's a, the other, oh dear, I got some, that's ah, my eyeball. Right, she, amniotic fever, is that what they called it? Yeast and mold, what else? This also um, is uh, an added, what is it called? And actually, come up, created by the fermentation, la, la, la. Oh, we're still going. Conservative, okay. capable, ca capable of providing broad my antimicrobial product protection. God. We're going to discuss per preservatives. <laughs> Hi guys. I can't do that anymore.